Baseball never disappoints. Every season there are endless stories. Some are incredible, like Shohei Otani becoming the first player to hit 50 homers and steal 50 bases in a season to secure another MVP. Some are excruciating, like the Chicago White Sox setting an all-time record for losses. And some are infuriating, like the Athletics leaving behind a loyal fan base in Oakland for an uncertain future. In our neighborhood, the Yankee season has been eventful, entertaining, and successful. Until this point, the Yankees won the AL East and wait to see who they will play in the division series. But they need to do more than this. They know that. We all know that. They need to win it all. And the Yankees can do that. They're as talented as any postseason team. The Yankees had been extremely healthy until recent injuries to Anthony Rizzo and Nestor Cortez. Despite a sluggish final week, they've had one of the best records in the league for the last two months. So here's how the Yankees can schedule their first trip along the Canyon of Heroes since 2009. It's a simple formula, but the stars need to be stars. It's helpful and invigorating when some supporting players have a memorable October. And some probably will. But for the Yankees to win 11 more games, Aaron Judge and Juan Soto must continue to be the modern version of Ruth and Gehrig. Yes, that's how phenomenal they've been. They're the Bambino and the Iron Horse. Judge will win his second MVP after leading the world in almost every offensive category. And Soto will finish in the top five. And remember, this is the one season the Yankees are guaranteed to have Soto. There's an urgency to win. And if teams pitch around Soto or Judge, the onus will be on Austin Wells and John Carlos Stanton. Wells has developed into one of the best catchers in the league and is a Rookie of the Year candidate. Stanton has been a postseason monster. Jazz Chisholm Jr. loves being a Yankee. Glaber Torres loves hitting leadoff. The spotlight will find them too. Let's continue with the theme of stars being stars. Garrett Cole must be a stopper. Remember that dubious intentional walk to Raphael Devers? Cole can obliterate that September memory in October. Every team has a number one starter, but they're not all aces. Cole is the Yankees' security blanket. After Cole, the Yankees need strong starts from Carlos Rodon, who might be the comeback player of the year after mixing his pitches more effectively, and Luis Heal, another Rookie of the Year challenger, who is one of the most difficult pitchers to hit in the majors. While manager Aaron Boone might not say it, I will. Luke Weaver is the Yankees' closer. Boone might use him earlier than the ninth inning in some delicate situations, but for those final three outs, Weaver deserves the job. There will be a lot of mixing and matching out of the bullpen in October. By the way, the top-seeded Yankees have the home field advantage so they must dominate in the Bronx. Before the season began, I asked Boone to describe a specific way the Yankees had to be better than they were in 2023. And he answered quickly, win the games you're supposed to win. More than ever, that answer applies. There should be games where the Yankees are in position to win. And if they win 11 more games, they can screech like Freddie Mercury because they will be the champions.